MPEG-2 aka H.222, H.262 as defined by the ITU is a standard for the generic coding of moving pictures and associated audio information. It describes a combination of lossy video compression and lossy audio data compression methods, which permit storage and transmission of movies using currently available storage media and transmission bandwidth. While MPEG-2 is not as efficient as newer standards such as H.264, AVC and H.265, HEVC, backwards compatibility with, with existing hardware and software means it is still widely used, for example in over-the-air digital television broadcasting and in the DVD video standard. <laughs> Main characteristics MPEG-2 is widely used as the format of digital television signals that are broadcast by terrestrial over-the-air, cable, and direct broadcast satellite TV systems. It also specifies the format of movies and other programs that are distributed on DVD and similar discs. TV stations, TV receivers, DVD players, and other equipment are often designed to this standard. MPEG-2 was the second of several standards developed by the Moving Pictures Expert Group MPEG and is an international standard ISO, IEC 13818. Parts 1 and 2 of MPEG-2 were developed in a collaboration with ITUT, and they have a respective catalog number in the ITUT recommendation series. While MPEG-2 is the core of most digital television and DVD formats, it does not completely specify them. Regional institutions can adapt it to their needs by restricting and augmenting aspects of the standard. See video profiles and levels. Topic: Systems. MPEG-2 includes a systems section, part 1, that defines two distinct but related container formats. One is the transport stream, a data packet format designed to transmit one data packet in four ATM data packets for streaming digital video and audio over fixed or mobile transmission mediums, where the beginning and the end of the stream may not be identified, such as radio frequency, cable and linear recording mediums, examples of which include ATSC, DVB, ISDB, SBTVD broadcasting, and HDV recording on tape. The other is the program stream, an extended version of the MPEG-1 container format with less overhead than transport stream. Program stream is designed for random access storage mediums such as hard disk drives, optical disks and flash memory. Transport stream file formats include M2TS, which is used on Blu-ray discs, AVCHD on re-writable DVDs and HDV on compact flash cards. Program stream files include VOB on DVDs and enhanced VOB on the short-lived HD DVD. The standard MPEG-2 transport stream contains packets of 188 bytes. M2TS prepends each packet with 4 bytes containing a 2-bit copy permission indicator and 30-bit timestamp. MPEG-2 systems is formally known as ISO, IEC 13818-1 and as ITU-T-REC. H.222.0. ISO authorized the SMPTE Registration Authority, LLC, as the registration authority for MPEG-2 format identifiers. The registration descriptor of MPEG-2 transport is provided by ISO, IEC 13818-1 in order to enable users of the standard to unambiguously carry data when its format is not necessarily a recognized international standard. This provision will permit the MPEG-2 transport standard to carry all types of data while providing for a method of unambiguous identification of the characteristics of the underlying private data. Topic. Video The video section, part 2 of MPEG-2, is similar to the previous MPEG-1 standard, but also provides support for interlaced video, the format used by analog broadcast TV systems. MPEG-2 video is not optimized for low bit rates, especially less than 1 megabit per second at standard definition resolutions. All standards compliant MPEG-2 video decoders are fully capable of playing back MPEG-1 video streams conforming to the constrained parameters bitstream syntax. MPEG-2 video is formally known as ISO, IEC 13818-2 and as ITU-T-REC. 
H.262, with some enhancements, MPEG-2 video and systems are also used in some HDTV transmission systems, and is the standard format for over-the-air ATSC digital television. Audio MPEG-2 introduces new audio encoding methods compared to MPEG-1 MPEG-2 Part 3 the MPEG-2 audio section, defined in Part 3 ISO, IEC 13818-3 of the standard, enhances MPEG-1's audio by allowing the coding of audio programs with more than two channels, up to 5.1 multi-channel. This method is backwards compatible also known as MPEG-2BC, allowing MPEG-1 audio decoders to decode the two main stereo components of the presentation. MPEG-2 Part 3 also defined additional bit rates and sample rates for MPEG-1 audio layer I, 2 and 3, MPEG-2 BC backward compatible with MPEG-1 audio formats. Low bitrate encoding with halved sampling rate MPEG-1 layer 1, 2 thirds LSF, a.k.a. MPEG-2 LSF, low sampling frequencies. Multichannel encoding with up to 5.1 channels, a.k.a. MPEG multichannel. Topic. MPEG-2 Part 7 Part 7 ISO, IEC 13818 of the MPEG-2 standard specifies a rather different, non-backwards compatible audio format also known as MPEG-2 NBC. Part 7 is referred to as MPEG-2 AAC. AAC is more efficient than the previous MPEG audio standards, and is in some ways less complicated than its predecessor, MPEG 1 Audio, Layer 3, in that it does not have the hybrid filter bank. It supports from 1 to 48 channels at sampling rates of 8 to 96 kHz, with multi channel, multilingual, and multiprogram capabilities. Advanced audio is also defined in Part 3 of the MPEG 4 standard. MPEG 2 NBC non -backward compatible, MPEG-2 AAC Multi-channel encoding with up to 48 channels Topic. ISO, IEC 13818 MPEG-2 standards are published as parts of ISO, IEC 13818. Each part covers a certain aspect of the whole specification. Part 1 Systems – describes synchronization and multiplexing of video and audio, it is also known as ITUT REC. H.222.0, see MPEG Transport Stream and MPEG Program Stream. Part 2 Video – video coding format for interlaced and non-interlaced video signals also known as ITUT REC. H.262 Part 3 Audio – Audio coding format for perceptual coding of audio signals. A multi-channel enabled extension and extension of bit rates and sample rates for MPEG-1 audio layer I, 2 and 3 of MPEG-1 audio. Part 4 Describes procedures for testing compliance. Part 5 Describes systems for software simulation. Part 6 Describes extensions for DSMCC Digital Storage Media Command and Control. Part 7 Advanced Audio Coding AAC. Part 8 10-bit video extension. Primary application was studio video, allowing artifact-free processing without giving up compression. Part 8 has been withdrawn due to lack of interest by industry. Part 9 Extension for real-time interfaces. Part 10 Conformance extensions for DSMCC Part 11 Intellectual Property Management IPMP. Topic. History MPEG-2 evolved out of the shortcomings of MPEG-1. MPEG-1's known weaknesses An audio compression system limited to two channels stereo. No standardized support for interlaced video with poor compression when used for interlaced video. Only one standardized profile constrained parameters bitstream, which was unsuited for higher resolution video. 
MPEG-1 could support 4K video but there was no easy way to encode video for higher resolutions, and identify hardware capable of supporting it, as the limitations of such hardware were not defined. Support for only one chroma subsampling, 4, 2-0, Sake Okubo of NTT was also the ITUT coordinator for developing the H.262, MPEG-2 Part 2 video coding standard and the requirements chairman in MPEG for the MPEG-2 set of standards. Topic. File name extensions .mpg, .mpeg, .m2v, .mp2, .mp3 are some of a number of filename extensions used for .mpeg1 or .mpeg2 audio and video file formats. Topic. Applications Topic. DVD video The DVD video standard uses MPEG-2 video, but imposes some restrictions. Allowed dimensions 720 x 480, 704 x 480, 352 x 480, 352 x 240 pixel NTSC. 720 times 576, 704 times 576, 352 times 576, 352 times 288 pixel PAL. Allowed aspect ratios display are 4 to 3 for letterboxed widescreen and non-widescreen frames, 16 to 9 for anamorphic widescreen. Allowed frame rates. 29.97 interlaced frame s ntsc 23.978 progressive frame s for ntsc 2 to 3 pull down to 29.97 25 interlaced frame s pal audio plus video bitrate video peak 9.8 megabits per second total peak 10.08 megabits per second minimum 300 kilobits per second YUV4, 2-0 Additional subtitles possible Closed captioning NTSC only Audio Linear pulse code modulation LPCM, 48 kHz or 96 kHz, 16 or 24 bit, up to 6 channels Not all combinations possible due to bitrate constraints MPEG Layer 2 MP2, 48 kHz, up to 5.1 channels Required in PAL players only Dolby Digital DD, also known as AC3, 48 kHz, 32 to 448 kilobits per second, up to 5.1 channels. Digital Theater Systems DTS, 754 kilobits per second or 1510 kilobits per second, not required for DVD player compliance. NTSC DVDs must contain at least one LPCM or Dolby Digital audio track. PAL DVDs must contain at least one MPEG Layer 2, LPCM, or Dolby Digital Audio Track. Players are not required to play back audio with more than two channels, but must be able to downmix multi-channel audio to two channels. GOP Structure Group of Pictures Sequence header must be present at the beginning of every GOP Maximum frames per GOP, 18 NTSC, 15 PAL, i.e. 0 6 seconds both closed GOP required for multi-angle DVDs topic HDV HDV is a format for recording and playback of high definition MPEG-2 video on a DV cassette tape topic mod and tod MOD and TOD are recording formats for use in consumer digital file-based camcorders. Topic. XDCAM XDCAM is a professional file-based video recording format. Topic. DVB Application specific restrictions on MPEG 2 video in the DVB standard. Allowed resolutions for SDTV. 
720, 640, 544, 528, 480 or 352 times 480 pixel, 24 over 1.001, 1 .001, 24, 30 over 1.001 1 .001 or 30 frame, s, 352 times 240 pixel, 24 over 1.001, 1 .001, 24, 30 over 1.001 1 .001 or 30 frame, s, 720, 704, 544, 528, 480 or 352 times 576 pixel, 25 frame, s, 352 times 288 pixel, 25 frame, SFORHDTV. 720 by 576 by 50 frame s progressive 576 p 50 1280 by 720 by 25 or 50 frame s progressive 720p 50 1440 or 1920 by 1080 by 25 frame s progressive 1080p 25 equals film mode 1440 or 1920 by 1080 by 25 frame s interlace 1080 i 50 topic atsc the atsc a 53 standard used in the united states uses mpeg 2 video at the main profile at high level mp at hl with additional restrictions such as the maximum bitrate of 19.39 megabits per second for broadcast television and 38.8 megabits per second for cable television for 2 to 0 chroma subsampling format and mandatory colorimetry information ATSC allows the following video resolutions, aspect ratios, and frame field rates: 1920 x 1080 pixel, 16 to 9 square pixels at 30p, 29.97p, 24p, 23.976p, 60i, 59.94i. 1280 x 720 pixel 16 to 9 square pixels at 60p 59.94p 30p 29.97p 24p or 23.976p 704 times 480 pixel 4 to 3 or 16 to 9 non square pixels at 60p 59.94p 30p 29.97p 24p 23.976p 60i or 59.94i 640 times 480 pixel 4 to 3 square pixels at 60p 59.94p 30p 29.97p 24p 23.976p 60i or 59.94 iatsc standard a 63 defines additional resolutions and aspect rates for 50 hertz pal signal the ATSC specification and MPEG-2 allow the use of progressive frames, even within an interlaced video sequence. For example, a station that transmits 1080i60 video sequence can use a coding method where those 60 fields are coded with 24 progressive frames and metadata instructs the decoder to interlace them and perform 3-2 pulldown before display. This allows broadcasters to switch between 60 Hz interlaced news, soap operas and 24 Hz progressive primetime content without ending the MPEG-2 sequence and introducing a several seconds of delay as the TV switches formats. This is the reason why 1080p30 and 1080p24 sequences allowed by the ATSC specification are not used in practice. The 1080 line formats are encoded with 1920 x 1088 pixel luma matrices and 960 x 540 chroma matrices, but the last eight lines are discarded by the MPEG-2 decoding and display process. ATSC-A, 72 is the newest revision of ATSC standards for digital television, which allows the use of H. 264, AVC video coding format and 1080p 60 signal. MPEG-2 audio was a contender for the ATSC standard during the DTV Grand Alliance shootout, but lost out to Dolby AC-3. Topic: ISDBT. 
Technical features of MPEG-2 in ATSC are also valid for ISDBT, except that in the main TS has aggregated a second program for mobile devices compressed in MPEG-4 H.264 AVC for video and AACLC for audio, mainly known as one seg. Topic: <laughs> Blu-ray. Commercial Blu-ray discs encode the first 10 second long FBI anti-piracy warning in MPEG-2 regardless of the rest of the disc's encoding. The feature film can also be in MPEG-2, which was common on early Blu-ray releases, but recent releases most often use H.264 or VC-1. Topic: <laughs> <laughs> Patent pool. All MPEG-2 patents are officially expired and can be used freely. MPEG-LA, a private patent licensing organization, has acquired rights from over 20 corporations and one university to license a patent pool of approximately 640 worldwide patents, which it claims are the essential to use of MPEG-2 technology, although many of the patents have since expired. Where software patentability is upheld, the use of MPEG-2 requires the payment of licensing fees to the patent holders. Other patents are licensed by Audio MPEG, Inc. The development of the standard itself took less time than the patent negotiations. Patent pooling between essential and peripheral patent holders in the MPEG-2 pool is the subject of a study by the University of Wisconsin. Over half of the patents expired in 2012. According to the MPEG-2 licensing agreement any use of MPEG-2 technology is subject to royalties. MPEG-2 encoders are subject to a royalty of $2 per unit, decoders are subject to a royalty of $2 per unit, and royalty-based sales of encoders and decoders are subject to different rules and $2.50 per unit. Also, any packaged medium DVDs, data streams, is subject to license fees according to length of recording, broadcast. A criticism of the MPEG-2 patent pool is that even though the number of patents will decrease from 1,048 to 416 by June 2013 the license fee has not decreased with the expiration rate of MPEG-2 patents. Since January 1, 2010, the MPEG-2 patent pool has remained at $2 for a decoding license and $2 for an encoding license. By 2015 more than 90% of the MPEG-2 patents will have expired but as long as there are one or more active patents in the MPEG-2 patent pool in either the country of manufacture or the country of sale the MPEG-2 license agreement requires that licensees pay a license fee that does not change based on the number of patents that have expired. <laughs> patents US only. The last United States patent expired on the 13th of February 2018. Topic See also MPEG encoding MPEG-1 audio layer 2 MP2 MPEG-1 audio layer 3 MP3 DVD DVB-S2 ISO, IEC JTC 1, SC 29 References External links A Beginner's Guide for MPEG-2 Standard MPEG-2 Overview Figures are lost MPEG-2 Video Compression MIT 6.344 Slides from Lectures on Video Compression at MIT. A Discrete Cosine Transform Tutorial IPTV MPEG and Quality of Experience Testing OpenIMP, Open Source DRM Project for MPEG-2 ISO, IEC 13818 MPEG-2 at the ISO Store MPEG Books, a list of MPEG reference books 2. Recommended Practice, Guide to the Use of the ATSC Digital Television Standard, including Corrigendum No. 1.